Take the baseline out. Uh huh. Day 23, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Let's do a video log. What do you say? Um, I just want to start off today with a special thanks to uh, Mark, who showed up and uh, gave us vehicle support. And uh, you know, and I think it's important that people have a have an outlet. You know, and sometimes that outlet comes in many different forms. And you know, and art is one of them. You know, and um, art is something that is so downplayed nowadays, but it's, it's so important because it's it's a way and a means that we can use our creative arts, our creative spirit to create something, you know? And it's like, even if, you know, you're not out here marching, you can create something that'll be just, just as powerful as walking however many miles we walk, you know? And it's, I think, I want to encourage people that do, that are into art, that continue to pursue that because there's, there's something powerful in that as well, you know? And, um, you know, what this movement offers for me, in my opinion, is, is it offers a, an opportunity. It offers scope and depth and, 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 and love and everything like that. Yet, it, it, yet it's something that's new and we don't know what we're doing, yet we do know what we're doing, you know? And it's like, it offers so much. And I think because it offers so much, it's, it's easy to get diluted. Yet, it's also where our strength, it's, it's where in our strength lies, you know? It's like, because it's so diverse, because it's so open, it's, it's available, you know? And I look, I, that's why I like, I like the word available. This movement is available, you know? And, and at this moment right now, it is available for us to use. It's, 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 it's a tool that we can use to springboard whatever thing, whatever, whatever we're looking to springboard onto you know it's like there's processes and there's a process I, I get that yeah at the same time this occupy movement was not about a process but us to, to process and move forward you know and i think that's important that we look beyond what might what might be in front of us but also look ahead of what we want what do we want to achieve what do we want to succeed at you know and it's like you set a goal, you get a goal, you know what I mean? You have to have a goal, you know, and I, and I have these goals that I'm, I'm thinking about and it's, it's, it's touching for me because now people want to get involved. People are ready to get involved, that the weather's getting better, you know, there's more people that are getting involved and it's, it's, it's opening up something right now, you know, and it's available, you know, I like that right now. I just came up with that right now. It's available, you know, and, um, you know, I, I keep thinking about like how old ideas are made new. You know what I mean? It's like these old things that we might have thought about. You know, we can, we we have a we have a, a place where we can use it now. You know, with the Occupy umbrella, let's use these old ideas that we might have had. You know, back in the seventies and 80s, even the eighties, there were marches and protests and activists happening in the nineties. Up to two, up to you know, it's like Occupy Wall Street was not the first thing on the block. You know, if anything, it's near the end. You know, so so I, I want to look back and 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 in homage to people that have walked before us. You know, I also want to ask questions of what worked and what didn't work, but also, you know, how do you continue to stay inspired? Because burnout happens all the time. You know, and I see people burning out left and right. You know, and it's like, how do we continue our resolve? You know, and I think that's one of the things that I want to learn in Chicago is, and, and that's what I want to learn from the people and, and just continue to learn every day really is how do we can keep our resolve? You know, it's like, it's like showing up to work every day. After a couple of years, it's like, yeah, but why are you really there? And I look at it like, people that don't want to be there will take it out on whatever that looks like. And then people that want to be there are going to be happy, joyous, and free, you know? And it's like, I want to be that. I want to be happy. I want to be joyous. I want to be free. You know, because I want to make sure that the reason I'm doing what I'm doing is f because that's what I need to be doing with my life, you know? And I look at it like, right, at this moment, there is nothing else that I want to be doing. You know, and nothing can tear me down, nothing can break me down, and it's like, I'm s strong when I know what I need to be doing, you know? And that's where, that's where my strength is, you know? And, um... I think the, I have a judgment about what hippies are, you know, and how the hippies affect this movement. And for me, personally, it's just the drug culture is what I fear, you know. Yet, I also know that it also brings in a sense of courage, you know, and it's, it, it's inclusive. And I get that. I do. Yet, I want to push higher than that, you know. I want to push 
more for more than that you know there's still an un untapped population there's still untapped populations throughout the country that that need to be plugged into what we're doing in this occupy movement and i if i if, if i only focus my actions and my thoughts on just a certain group of people that have already been impacted and infected and, and affected and affected then i'm hanging out with people that are just like me and that's the problem you know i don't like that i like making sure that i want to be around people that I haven't gotten to know yet, you know. So I'm so I'm fresh and I'm and I'm f open minded, you know. And it's like there's still places and people that we need to see, and it's only gonna happen if we work together with a mission, you know. And it's like with with a goal, and you know, let's let's tap into something that we don't know yet, you know. Let's get out of our comfort zone, you know, a little bit. Let's get out of our comfort zone and find out what's out there, you know. And once we find out what's out there, you know, it's like. I swear that that's where the confidence comes from, you know? That's where my confidence comes from, at least, is because I've been able to hang out with these people, these people, and these people, you know? It's easy to relate, and well, if I can relate to people, then it's easier for me to connect to people, you know? And I think that's what it's all about. The authenticity of connecting happens only because I'm able to expand what I know about myself, you know? And, um, you know, quitters never win, and winners never quit, you know? And that's where I'm at right now, you know? I, like, it's easy to back away and go, let someone else handle it. But it takes courage to actually go, fuck it, let's do it. You know? Whatever may happen, let's do it, you know? And I, I think that's where I'm at right now. It's to a point where I don't, I'm rolling, you know? I'm, 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 a, I'm a, a loose caboose. I'm, a, I'm a, a, a stone that's rolling downhill right now, you know? Like, you can't stop it. Like, I, you can throw shit at me, you can say things about me, but I'm gonna keep going. Because I know that this is what I need to be doing, you know? And let's build each other up. That's what I want to see. I want to see each other. I, I just want to see, like, this movement can be a lighthouse for, for, for the entire community. You know, if we're able to pass along what we've learned up to this point, we can be a source of information, a wealth of information, and also we can also set that example. And I think that's where our strength is as well, is if we can set that example that other people can follow, you know, it's, there's so much breadth in that, you know, and, um, you know, being in Kentucky now, Bowling Green, it's like, we're going to be coming through a lot more bigger cities here, and, uh, you know, less, less stretches of, of, of just hiking and camping, we'll be more involved with the community, knowing what's going on with the local interests, and I think that's important, because, you know, it's like monks that are on a mountain, you know, it's like they're useless if, if, well, not useless, but I mean, it's like, what's the point of being so spiritual but when you're by yourself, you know? It's like, what's the point of knowing all this information if you're by yourself? Like, my whole thing is I want to spread this out, like, everywhere, you know? And that can only happen if we're out there in the public doing what we need to be doing. And um, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for that coming up real soon. And, uh, and just keep us in your thoughts, you know? As you watch these video logs, just understand that it's not easy what we do, yet we know that we're supposed to be doing this, so just keep us in your thoughts, you know, and uh, push us along, because uh, every little bit counts, and I know it, I can feel it, I can feel all those people that have been encouraging up to this point, you know, everywhere from Richmond, Virginia, to Raleigh, North Carolina, to Chapel Hill, Winston-Salem, everybody, you know, Greenville, Greensboro, you know, Atlanta, you know, Chattanooga, Nashville, it's like New York, it's like everywhere, you know, people feel it, you know, and, and people support it. And then everyone that we've met up to this point has been such an inspiration, you know, I take it to heart, you know, their stories are still in my mind, I still share these stories, you know, and, uh, you know, there's more that, there's more along the way, and it's good to be a part of it, it is, and uh, Kentucky is, is where it's at, you know, it's, we're getting lucky in Kentucky here, you know, let's double down, let's give it all we got, day 23, Bowling Green, Kentucky, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon, bye. Know it's hell when I come through. The life and times of Sean Carter, nigga, volume two. Y'all niggas get ready.